Okay, so um, at the end of the last campaign that we did for Burrows and Badgers, we said we were doing another one, so watch this space. Uh, and then some nasty lurgy came along, didn't it? Yeah. So uh, obviously COVID was the problem. Uh, but we're back. Uh, joined by Sam. Uh, we're just starting a new campaign of Burrows and Badgers. Yes. Uh, probably one of the best miniature war games, skirmish games out there on the market. So if you fancy having a squirrel with a crossbow or a dog with a massive sword that's going to go and cut a badger in half, that's exactly the game for you. Okay, so uh, basically we're going to be playing a game today which is loot. Um, so there is a old mouse cemetery <laughs> that we wish to raid and see what goodies are in there. The problem is my warband is consisted of all dogs so nothing's going to fit me. Um, so I'm hoping for a necklace yeah. Okay, that I can put around my wrist as some Pandora charm. Okay. <laughs> um, Sam, on the other hand, does have some uh, mice with him, um, and uh, he's going to be basically looking for his ancestors. Um, I don't know, what, whatever. Hairpin. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, hairpin, that's what he's looking for. Um, so, um, basically, we're going to be playing a skirmish game, first part of the campaign. Uh, my guys are free beasts, okay, which basically means that they are not controlled by the local governance, and you're running rogues, aren't yes. you? So, basically, uh, footpads and uh, fences and that type of thing, are you? Yes. Right, so uh, I've gone for a solely dog warband for a change. Um, so I'm not looking to add anything to the list other than dogs, and it is led by a collie, um, and then we have King Charles, um, a pug <laughs> with a club, <laughs> and a leather jerkin, because why not, um, and um, I don't know, some basset hound with a bow, yeah, um, and a dog that looks a lot like a fox, that's also a spellcaster. <laughs> Five models, 350 pennies. Well, I've got 33 pennies left, to be fair. Uh, what have you got? I've got uh, well, Wildcats leading mine. Okay, so cat versus a dog. Cat like versus it. a dog. Yeah, there's a movie by that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got an otter. All right, okay. Two mice. Yeah. A, and a traitor. A Scotty dog. <laughs> we uh, didn't want him. <laughs> and a snake. And a snake. There's a wizard. <laughs> a wizardy snake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job he's got a, a staff to curl around. I hope you bought the Mages Focus. No. Did you not? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Good job, we've got some pennies left. Okay, so uh, we're, uh, basically, we're basically already deployed, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, but we'll show you the war bands uh, before the start of the game. And uh, yeah, any questions, uh, put them down. And if you want to see what happens in the campaign, then do uh, like, subscribe, and also check us out on Patreon. So uh, yeah, we'll see you at the end. Okay, so uh, here we are, uh, starting the campaign, and I will be running uh, Free Beasts. Um, these guys are all made up of one uh, racial type, which is the, the dogs. So we have my leader, the Collie, and um, he's got double-handed weapon and a master-crafted, very heavy armour. And uh, we then have the uh, Cavalier King Charles, who's going to be my number two. Uh, he's got two swords, so dual wielding. And then we have Pugsley, the pug. He's armed with a double-handed club and light armor because he's got his leather jerkin and his shoulder pads. Uh, very sort of uh, Elaine Page. Um, that one for the kids, that. <laughs> we then have uh, Misty, the... Uh, the, the dog uh, mage who has a mage's staff and knows the heal spell um, only took the one spell I'm not stupid enough to take more than one spell at the start <laughs> uh, and then we have um, the hound as he's going to be called <laughs> uh, who's armed with a hand weapon and a bow with normal arrows um, that actually does leave me about 33 pennies short so I could potentially have squeezed another another doggy in um, but um, didn't have the didn't have the model for it so um, yeah that is uh, the free beasts okay so we have Sam's war band uh, which is the rogues um, so they're led by a wild cat um, who's got a small shield or buckler he's got a light shield light shield and, and how yeah hand weapon hand weapon yeah well uh, number two number two is the she otter mm -hmm. he's got a sling and a hand weapon yeah 
Yeah. You've got a traitor dog. We've got a traitor dog. <laughs> two handed weapon. Okay, any armour? No. Uh, nope. And then you've got two mice. Two mice with crossbows. Yep. And that's it. And a mage <laughs> snake, uh, yes. adder, a magical adder. adder. Yeah. With two spells. Okay. I was stupid enough to take two spells. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got? Uh, I've got oak flesh and bear strength. Ah, right, okay. So, uh, and a few pennies left over, no doubt. Uh, yes, it's yep. like 12 pennies, I think. Okay, cool. Right, so that is the rogues. So, um, yep, they are uh, new to this area and uh, we'll be looking to see if they can uh, secure some monies. So, there we have it. So, they are the two warbands taking part in this first game of this new campaign. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, so here we are, uh, halfway through turn one. Um, three of the dogs have moved up to the, uh, the tomb. Um, Sam's um, creatures have edged through the rough ground. Uh, benefit of that is it does give them some extra protection. However, he's slowing them down. Um, however, the mouse with the crossbow, who is just in there, he has moved forward and is about to unleash a bolt at the beagle, hiding down here. So just in range. Um, Sam will be at minus two uh, because of the fact that I am within cover and proximity. So it's a roll off uh, your strike, uh, your range value. Yeah, D6. D6. And I'm using oh, my nimbleness. Uh, nimbleness, which is also a D6. Uh, so okay. you're on a one. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to get a two. So <laughs> nothing happens and the bolt misses. Uh, over to me. Uh, so the pug has moved up to the side of the bar, and then Sam has activated another mouse crossbow again, yeah? Yep. So I have to zoom in to see the mice. Okay, <laughs> so uh, there he is there, and he is shooting across at the back of the uh, um, sort of tomb area towards the uh, other well, cavalier, King Charles. Uh, so uh, D6 versus D6 again, but you're again at minus two. Uh, so it's a negative, so uh, oh, I win. Uh, so uh, another bolt missed, and back to me. Okay, so um, my hound has just moved up to the edge here, uh, shooting past the well at the uh, mouse that fired at uh, his comrade. Um, I'm on D8 because as a uh, free beast I get a, a stat upgrade at the start, so I've given him an extra range. Uh, so I'm on D8, so I've put a fate in, so has Sam. Uh, so that's two dice, and so we choose the highest. Uh, I get a six, so I'll choose the six. I get a five, so uh, which will drop down to a four, um, so no damage. So. Uh, Ineffectual shooting so far. Um, I am done, so it's just over to you for your just otter. otter. What's the range, mm. honestly? Uh, it's normally 12, but it's got the otter's got eagle eyes, which adds 6 inches. Okay, so 18. And he moves 8. Mm -hmm. So again, minus two. Yes. Uh, my nimbleness on him is a D6. I'm going to put a fate into this. Okay, you're on D8. Yeah. Uh, I'll put one in as well. Just try and ensure survival. Uh, I'll be on a minus two. two. Yep. I've got an eight. Oh. I'll be a six. Uh, okay, so it uh, doesn't matter though because you still had your seven. So that's 15 minus two. Perfect roll. Oh, okay. Yeah, so if you yeah. ever get the maximum dice, the maximum number on a dice, yep. you add seven to it. Oh, I remember. So yeah, that's yeah. 15. Yeah. Minus the two gives you 13. Yeah. Minus five yeah. Um, gives, puts eight. So that dog takes eight damage as I don't have any armor. Wow. Uh, so one, two. What's three, a strong four, one do? Five, six, seven, eight. Nine damage because you've strung up. <laughs> I'm not tough. So I uh, take nine damage, which is two wound increments. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And he's in trouble. 
Uh, and that ends turn one. Uh, with the first casualty with the Hound being two increments down and halfway towards being killed already by Eagle-Eyed Otter. Okay, so uh, next turn. Um, it's a D8 roll-off. Yep, it's... Mm, Fortitude versus Presence, but we're both on D8s. Yeah. Two. Uh, two. Um, I get to go first, I think, because it's draw. Yeah, because I add in... You add initiative last turn. Right, so, um, hmm, okay, so let's uh, see what we can do here. D12. So, uh, my mage is going to, as first action, try and heal the dog. Um, so, I have mage's focus, which gives me plus one. Uh, I haven't moved, which is plus two, range of 12. I've got a target stat of four, but I've got plus three. So, he's going to go off. Oh, yep, it's so rolled a six, so that goes off. And that heals D12 on this dog. Which I'm going to put a fate in. Roll two ones. <laughs> you never know, do you? So let's uh, see what we get. A six or a two. So I'll take the six. You so had that's... that for lady. Okay, so the dog is going to try and heal. Uh, my dog wizard is going to try and heal the hound. Um, so I've got Mage's Focus, plus one. Uh, stood still, plus two. Goes off on a 4 with 12 inch range, so um, anything but a 1. Um, I'm going to put Fate in, so roll a 6 um, and a 2. So I'll take the 6, so I save 6 wounds off the dog, which will take me down at least 1 increment anyway. Um, so let's just do that. Um, so uh, that's now. Those two, four, six. Actually, I'm back down to no increments. Nice. Three wounds taken. Okay, uh, your action. So the otter, going to shoot at my pug just down on the corner there. So again, minus two because of partial line of sight and proximity. So uh, you put fate in yep. on D8, so I'm just going to risk it with a D6. Unless you've got a five, so it takes five. down to a three. I get a four, so yeah. missed. Uh, to you. Um, okay, I'm going to try and run the pug out to here because he's my brave pug. Uh, back over to you. The pug moves up with cover of the of the well. Mm. So this mouse, yep, is just going to stand still and shoot at the pug. Okay, so plus two, minus two. Yep. I'm on a D6. Uh, I'm going to put Fate in again. Okay. I'm just going to go D6. Uh, five. Nothing. It's part of the well. Over to you. Um, let's see where we're not in range of that one. I'm just going to fight your otter, I think, yep. with uh, the wounded dog. So I'm on D8. Um, and I'm going to put Fate in. So we've got a Fated up shot again. Um, now, because um, I've medicked him back, I've got no penalties yep. other than the minus two for proximity. Uh, six is what I've got. Three. So it takes me down to a four. Uh, so do one point of damage unless you've got tough or armour. Uh, nope. So take one point. Neither of those. Yay, I did a point of damage. <laughs> so my number two has just uh, sprinted across to uh, lock the otter in combat. Um, so he can't fight this phase, uh, but he is now in base to base. Uh, over to you. So uh, the mouse in the bottom right of the screen has decided what's trying to protect the otter, so he's going to try and fire at the otter with his crossbow. And um, yeah, basically on a one or a two, he's going to hit the otter as they're in base-to-base -base contact. So let's uh, see what you roll. Excellent, oh. love it. <laughs> so, oh no. Do you want to put some fate in there on your shoot yeah. attack? Yeah, I don't know if I can put fate onto that. Yeah, you can. Um, you know, you can't do it on that one because you've already rolled it. You can put it onto your shooting attack, so you can choose the lowest. You don't have to choose the highest. Well, that's a good point. Uh, I could roll two really high ones. Yes, but if you, <laughs> what you don't want to be doing is rolling the maximum. <laughs> no, that's true, yeah. 
Yeah. I'll put a fate in. <laughs> so, oh, this is going to um, end so badly. So, um, it's still minus two. Oh, no, you can see the whole model. It's so yeah. only minus one because the proximity is minus right. one, but I'm plus yeah. two for standing still. Plus two for standing still. So, plus one effectively. Oh, God. Okay. And then it's d6 versus the otters. Yeah, we don't matter. It depends what you're on. Right. So, I'll pick the two. <laughs> So you're at plus one takes you to a three. So the otter's nimbleness is d8. D8. So yeah, as long as you don't get a one or a two, yeah, okay. No, I was going to leave that. I'm not going to bother putting fate in. I've got six. Yeah, six, fine. Dodged it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so end of the turn. Um, and the both the Scotty dog and the cat still struggling to find their way through the <laughs> rocky terrain, um, only managing just to get to the edge. Um, my leader has moved round towards the front and uh, into the next turn. So uh, D eight roll off again. Two, two for, and I get oh, an eight. So oh. it'll be me to go first, and I'm going to go with the uh, Cavalier King Charles, who's going to take a swipe at the otter. Okay, so um, I'm going to put fate in. Sam's putting fate in. Um, you're blocking on d6. Yeah. I'm blocking. I'm striking on d8. So I've got two swords, so I get uh, plus two to my strike off. Oh, I've got a six. Bugger. So that becomes a thirteen. Uh, my seven becomes a nine, so I don't do anything. <laughs> ah, darn it. <laughs> you'll go. Okay, so the otter's going to hit back, throwing a fate point in. Um, my block is d6. Um, I don't risk it. I'm going to use my hand weapon with both hands. Uh, okay. So that gives you... Is it plus one strength? Uh, I believe so. It gives me something. Yeah, you just can't use a shield, can you? So. Uh, uh, <clears throat> gives me strong one. Strong one. Okay. So it'd be strong two. Um, oh, I'm going to... Yeah, okay. You forced me to use the fake point now. Okay. I've got seven. I've got six anyway. So that becomes 13. Oh, good did yeah. Yep. So, nothing. Can I do that again? No. Because it's only one action, isn't it? No. Well, no you only get one action. First. You get three moves with every action. Oh, this is what confused me last time. Yeah, you only get one action. Okay, your action is shoot, conceal. One move. You get two actions, but one no, no you don't. move. No, you don't get two actions. You get one action. But it comes with a free move. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to leave that on camera just because you're an idiot. Okay. <laughs> so every action, of which you get one, yeah. of which you have a choice, has a move. Has a move that precedes it. Yeah? Right. But because you're in combat, you didn't move. I just so your it. action was the attack. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Right. <laughs> um, hmm. What to do now? I think that mouse is within twelve of him, so he is going to run and lock him in. My pug is going to dive forwards. What's your pug blocking on? Six. Okay, um, the mouse, yeah, he's gonna try and punch the pug. Okay, with a no fate, just just one dice in it. Okay. Um, oh, actually, I don't know if he can. Why? You're not got arm. He doesn't have a hand weapon. So he fights unarmored. I think it's minus two. Oh. I think. Yeah. Is it minus two? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, that would be a two. Uh, that would be a three. So that'll be... Worth a go. Yeah, nothing there. Just laughs. Just, just lulls. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. Hmm, can't get over there. So, pretty much. Let's have a look at over here now, aren't we? Pretty much. I think I'm just going to activate my mage. So my mage is going to cast on the dog again. Because why not? Yeah. Heal. Yeah. 
It worked. Um, <laughs> it's d12. Uh, two. So two more off the dog. I think that puts him on one wound. Yep. So he's got one wound taken. Okay, you'll go. Uh, so. It's like Deadpool, just healing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little baby hand reappearing. <laughs> yeah, so my wizard's going to try and do, he's going to stand still and try and put oak flesh yeah. onto the wildcat. Yep, okay. Uh, there's anything. Yep, okay. Goes off, so that he is now tough two. Yep, but now you can't pretty much do anything, can he? No, the wizard's done that. Yeah, okay. Uh, right. That's the cat with an extra strong two, tough two so far. Yeah. Hmm, okay. I've got no targets over there, so my dog is actually going to run around here. Shoot, combat. No, don't want to. <laughs> You've seen how well that works. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You'll go. Okay. But now I'm taking a target away from your crossbow, you mate. <laughs> now he's feeling all healthy. <laughs> so the uh, Scotty dog yep. is going to sprint. Okay. <laughs> but I am now. Out of there. Yeah. There you go, that way. Okay. I can't stop you shooting the lizard. <laughs> um, he's going to go into ambush. Okay. In fact, yeah, uh, he'll move to the edge because he has to be in line of sight to ambush, right? so he's going to go into ambush mode. Yeah, you're okay. Uh, so, how do you shoot hiding stuff? Uh, it's a roll against concealment, I think. I you're not think hiding, you're... are you? You're just ambushing. Well, I think ambush is the hide skill, isn't it? Or is it not? Is hiding no, separate hiding, ambush? So a model making a hide action may not move. Is ambush even a thing? Or yeah, no, games? ambush is a thing. Okay, fine. Yeah, so I'm, yeah, in which case I'm not hiding, I'm just poised, ready to... Oh, no, you can't... If you have a model which is hidden and an enemy model within line of sight. Oh, so I think you have to hide first. Then go. No, that doesn't make sense. So hiding model. Right. Sprint, attack, oh, yep. shoot, cast, search, hide. So I can't. Yeah. So you hide, which then puts you in ambush. Oh, right. But I, have, I can't move and do that. So... Um, where should we go now then? Yeah, because it says. Mm. Just... I'm just going to wait there. I'm just going to just literally not move. Because a model that's hidden yeah. cannot be attacked, shot at, or targeted by spells and counts as being ready to ambush. Yeah, yeah. okay. You'll go. So you're just going to. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah. Not move. No, I don't need to. Okay. Okay, so uh, the mouse is going to try and shoot the pug. So the first roll. Yep. Yay, it's the Does pug. hit the pug. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put fate into this one. Uh, <laughs> so that's a d6. Yep. Four is the best you got. You're at plus one, aren't you? Yes. So five. Five, effectively. And one. So you win by four. Yeah, yeah you're a strong two, aren't you, for a crossbow? Yes. So that takes you to six. Um, six, I am tough one. Takes it down to five. So five damage. Uh, in fact, actually, I'm tough one naturally, I think. I'm a strong one naturally. What is it? What is it? It's a uh, medium hound. I've got a feeling I might only be strong naturally. But yeah, because that's the same as yeah. my Scotty dog. Yeah, so what did we say? Five, was it? Five, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it wounds one, two, three, four, five. One increment of damage. And that's the end of the turn. So roll off again. D8s. Four. Uh, two. You get to go first. <laughs> okay. What are you going with? Oh, I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> got so excited. Well, um, it's risky. But it could be worth it. Are we saying anyone can get into that? Yeah. Let's get the chest. Because I'm just... Okay. Oh, he 
get there and make the roll. Yeah. Because even if you then run in and try and hit me, you've got a test, and if yeah. you fail, you, yeah, the cat's just going to go in. Yeah. So, so six. the cat's going to go in. So speed of the cat. Eight. Yep. Yeah, so he gets there. So he now has to do a um, awareness check against a seven, I think it was, on the uh, scenario. Yes, it was a seven. Uh, which one now? You have to do a search. Um, yes, an awareness against a target of seven. Mm -hmm. uh, so my awareness is D8. Uh, hang on. So, um, okay, so. Okay, so yes, it's uh, yeah, so it's the seven you need. Okay. Uh, nope. So you get plus one next turn. So you're on six next turn. Okay. All right. Yep. Right. Okay. So the cat's made the first trip in. Okay. So. Um, Snake. Yep. So uh, we're going to shoot with the uh, beagle yep. at the snake because if we put a wound on him, we'll take away all of his magical abilities <laughs> on the cat. Um, going to put fate in. Yep. So this is against my uh, nimbleness, nimbleness of a snake. <laughs> D4. I'm going to put a fate in, I think. <laughs> okay. Just in case. How can a snake? Go into How can an otter be more nimble than a snake? Well, has a snake got legs? No, but a snake is long. <sighs> what the? Because <laughs> he's sat on top of that pole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got three's my highest, and I got a six. Oh god. So, um. So you win by three. Uh, I win by one actually, because I'm minus two, because you're in cover. So you win by one. Uh, actually, I can see you, so it's only minus one. So uh, five, and your best you've got was three. So it's two points of damage. Yeah. But you are weak two. <coughs> and delicate two. No, so delicate two, sorry. This is weak's in combat, isn't it? Uh, or shooting. Was <laughs> it? Yeah. What's it do then? Weak. So, the feeble and lacking strength then must subtract the skill level from the result of any successful close combat or shooting with the exception made by crossbows and black powder. Delicate, the character's weak constitution from to damage they must add the skill level to any wounds they suffer. Right, okay, so, so you have three, so minus two down to one. So I had six versus your one, because that's the weak. Right, okay. Yeah? So uh, weak affects your dice roll, delicate affects the damage. Yes. Right? So you've got three minus the one, that's uh, minus two, sorry, takes you down to one. Yeah. I had five, so I win by four. Yeah. So you take four damage plus the delicate two, so <laughs> six damage. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. And one in one. Right, yes. And that is the strong two, tough two taken yeah, off the cat. Yeah, off the cat. <sighs> okay, so Scotty Dog has gone around the corner to try and lock the archer, stop him putting pressure on the uh, mage. And my uh, dog leader has charged the cat uh, and uh, gone onto the back of the wild cat who's not quite so wild. He's not <laughs> feeling quite as wild and What's as tough as he was a minute ago. He's still strong too, yeah, tough too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, whatever. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we're going to duke it out with the leaders here in front of the, uh, in front of the mouse tomb. So we're going to cut the head off the snake, as it were. So I've put both my last fate into this roll. Sam has run out of fate. He's burnt through all 12, <laughs> 12. in like three turns. <laughs> Some things don't change, do they, Sam? <laughs> no. um, so uh, I'm on D10, Sam's on D8. I do have Paralyzing Poison on my double-handed weapon. I've only got one dose of it, so I'm putting it on it. Okay, uh, I'll get plus two to this roll because I've moved one two inches. Okay, let's see what we get. 
four. Three D10s. Oh, I didn't get the important one, so I've got the five. So I win the combat on seven. Um, seven. I am strong six with uh, the double handed weapon. So that would take me. Um, Are you using your killing blow? I don't know yet. Hang on, I'm working it out. <laughs> so, so I win by three at the minute. I'm strong six, I'm winning by nine, minus your tough. Tough two. Tough two. Oh, that's a six. I've got a light shield, gives me plus two to my block rolls. Alright, so I win so by that's one. A six. Yeah, and I'm a seven. Because I get plus two for charges. Yep. I still win the combat. Yep. So I win by one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm plus six for strength. Strong. So it takes me up to seven. Minus two for my tough. So five. So currently you'd be taking five damage. I have got the ability to use killing blow. Which would do another seven, um, which would take you up to twelve damage. How much number of wounds do you have in this? Is sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, I'll use killing blow then. <laughs> uh, so that'll be three in wound increments then. So that's twelve in total, isn't it? Yeah, twelve in total. Oh, I can't believe I didn't roll better than a 5 on 3 D10s. Oh, so four more wounds and he just killed him. <laughs> um, and you've also paralysed. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so that... Thank you. That's all right. <laughs> Anytime. Um, so where, where are the drugs rolls? I can't remember. I don't know. Um, somewhere. Let's just double check what the paralyzing does. I think you lose an action next turn. I think. Oh, don't say that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Fairly sure that's what happens. Uh, paralyzing poison. Yeah. Oh no. What page on? Uh, Seventy-one. Okay, seventy-one. Oh, the weapon code with power and poison causes a wound, the victim's next action has a minus one penalty. It causes two or more wounds, the victim is paralysed and misses their next action. Alright, so did one two wounds, so you miss your next action completely. Oh, oh and, and until the end of the turn, all attacks made on the mechanic's ambush attacks, i.e. they may not block or use nimbleness. <laughs> so I don't have an action to move next You don't turn. have an action... Um, yeah, because that was your first action this turn, wasn't it, to yeah. go in there? So yeah, next turn you don't get an action. No, and next turn anything you hit me No, with. only this turn. If I could get anyone else into combat, wasn't it? Uh, if it the victim is paralysed misses their next turn until the end of the turn, so that's this turn, all attacks made on the mechanic's oh, ambush. I miss the next action till the end of the turn. Yeah. So I still get my action this turn. No, you don't. Because two or more... You miss your next action until the end of the turn. There's a full stop there. Oh, so until yeah, the end yeah. of the turn, all further attacks made. I can't as ambush. I can't as ambush. Okay. Good job you got a big base and you filled the only space. <laughs> now I can get I can get my wizard in. <laughs> you know, the thing is, even without a weapon, right, <laughs> a minus two, it might still be worth it. Well, I can't block it. Okay, so the otter is going to try and hit the the dog. Um, so I'm on a d6. I'm going to use the hand weapon with both hands. Yep. I get a six, so I'm okay. <laughs> and uh, a four. Yeah. Just in case anyone was interested. <laughs> Just dodged out of the way of that one. Uh, over to you. Uh, right, well, as your otter's activated, I'm going to go with the pug. So he's at minus one because he's got a wound increment against the mouse. Why against the mouse? Who's unarmoured. Um, <laughs> and he's blocking on D4s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so he is a hound, so he's on strike d8. Um, okay, here we go. I got four. Oh, so of course, he's 11. <laughs> you can still do it. Uh, six, uh, not enough. No. A lucky ass mouse. <laughs> he's a lucky ass mouse. Well, he's going to hit you back now. <laughs> okay, got it. With his D6. Okay. Three. Three. Four. You're at minus two anyway, so <laughs> nothing there. Uh, to you. Um, wizard, isn't it? No, I've got the wizard and I've got the cavalier. Oh, yeah. Mm. So the cavalier will hit the otter. Yep. 
Uh, so I've got two swords, so I get plus two. And one d8. One d6. Okay. Six. Oh. <laughs> Dodgy little toe rag. <laughs> uh, and my last one is the mouse. Uh, your wizard as well, oh, isn't it? Oh, my wizard's not, isn't it? Yeah, there's yeah. not much you can do at the minute, is there? No, but can crossbows be affected by other strong stuff? No. No, mm. crossbows can't, no. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> got an extra strong two on him. Uh, the mouse is going to shoot into the combat with Pug. Okay. <laughs> so I shall see if I hit the Pug or me. Okay. I hit oh, the pug. Gutted. I can't have any fate into this. No. So it's just a uh, d6. Nimbleness is d6. And I get a 5. Oh, I've got a 2. Dodge that one. Uh, right, so wizard left. Yes. So he's going to actually get in there and try and attack the uh, <laughs> attack your cat as yeah. well. Well, I can't do anything about that. So you don't even get to roll. Uh, the wizard... <laughs> Is um, D8, but minus two. D8 minus two coming up. Oh, I get plus two for charging. So plus two minus two. Yeah, so just D8. So, yeah. uh, six. So six points of damage. Minus on um, tough two. Yeah, so four oh, points of damage. You need to do your first oh, yeah, roll. Uh, which is presence D10. It is. Yeah, I think it's your it's your fortitude. Oh, my fortitude is it? Let me find it again. Fearsome, yeah, it's your fortitude against my presence. Okay. I've got an eight. Uh, you win. So, so you're minus three. Minus three, so that becomes a three then. So take a wound. It's yeah. not tough two. Uh, well, no, I rolled a six, didn't I? Yes, yeah, so minus three. It's three. It's three. Take two away for tough. One Still wound. Still one. Jeez, got three left. Uh, my wizard. Uh, actually, hang on. I'm still a dog, aren't I? So it's also strong, strong one. one. So that'd be an extra point of damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you're a medium hound, aren't you? Uh, oh, no, I'm a large hound. Am I a large hound? No, medium hound. Your leader's a large hound. No, he's a massive. He uh, is large. So it's tough, strength, it's strong two. Yeah, it's 50 points. Yeah, from two, so you take another wound. Yeah. Same side, base as yours, mate. Yeah, no. So it's uh, you're on four. Yeah. So you're on minus four now to everything. Uh, what more is that? Oh no, because you do your last one, then the next one. Yes, two dead. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so uh, just snake. the snake. So. What's the snake gonna do? Uh, the snake is gonna try and move. Okay. <coughs> double run. Might as well double. Uh, I'm gonna cast. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, I can just see the otter. Okay. Uh, it's gonna try and cast bear strength. Yep. So my fortitude is d8. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. Goes off. So the otter's now an extra. Plus two strong. Okay, and that ends the turn, yeah? Yeah. Okay, right, so roll off for. Uh, right, so yeah, he's still on the table, so he still can use his stat roll. So d8s. Seven. Put that one. Uh, seven. In the window. <laughs> <laughs> Been in the door. So seven. So um, you went first, so it's oh, my turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my well, you see, I don't know whether it is. I don't know whether it's worth doing that. Well, you could just kill him with the wizard. I could, can't block. No, you can block this turn. It was just last turn you could block. Oh no! Actually, you should be dead. I think because it would count as ambush. That's why I didn't block. No, but you couldn't do anything last turn. Yeah. And also, I count as ambushing you. So don't Which get plus five. I can't block. Mm, don't know. Got a feeling. Ambush. I've got a feeling you get <laughs> reaching for smoke here. I'm hoping. Yeah. I got a... Oh, actually, and you're outnumbered. Oh, you'd have got a plus one. Is it plus one for having? No, one? actually, you only get minuses to your blocks. Oh, I uh, Ambush. <laughs> Apart from the target, no, I uh, attacker has not moved this turn. I get plus. Uh, no, that's for shooting. 
Yeah, the ambusher will still attack. But That's for shooting, isn't it? All those stats. Using the normal attack. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, enemy model within C. Oh, mate. Yeah, no, I get plus. Yeah. Anyone else within. T yeah, my Scotty Dog was within 12 of the ambusher. Ambusher's not moved, which it did. I get plus three, I think, because the ambusher has not moved this turn. Because it counts as an ambush, so I can move but you in. moved in. Yeah, but that's part of the move. Part of the ambush is a free move to get into combat. You'd never, you'd never you'd, get an ambush up. So you've been plus three, but I was within six. Every model within six at the start of the ambush. I was within six at the start. Yeah. Okay, so it'd only be plus one. And then each enemy. And don't worry about it. I don't. I don't think. I don't think it was going to make a huge. I mean, he's dead now because I can't do anything still. So I'm poisoned this turn. Yeah. Oh no! I can't. I don't have an action. Yeah. But you I was paralyzed still... last. Turn. Yeah. So I can block. Yeah. But that's about it. Okay. It's up to you. I've got two wins left. You could kill him with a wizard and then just search with the dog, or kill him with the dog and search I'm gonna with the wizard. I'm going to hit you with the big guy, because why not? Because, to I'm be honest, no fate, so. I want you dead. So, I'm D10. I'm D8. Okay, so, uh, Sam's rolled a 2 with the <laughs> Wildcat leader. Uh, my boss rolls a th measly 3. Uh, but Sam's at minus 4 anyway. Minus, in fact, actually minus 6, because he's outnumbered. So you're at negative 4. <laughs> You don't count anything that goes beyond negative, so I win by three. Uh, I'm strong six, <laughs> so it's nine. Yeah. Uh, you're tough two, so seven damage. Oh, I'm the, I'm on a four. Why? Because I've got a light shield plus two to block. Okay, so I'm you on, take. I'm on a minus two. Yeah, you're on minus two. <laughs> yeah. Um, so seven damage. Uh, so that is the cat uh, out of action. Dead. Not dead, just out of action. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's also a test now off your second yep. at the start of the turn to see if your warband flees because your leader's down. Yep. Okay. Same stats. So. Right. Um, so your action. Okay. So D eight versus D six. Two. Five. I'll take that. Um. Let's go with the pug. Let's see if the pug can actually hurt the mouse. Um, so I am still at minus one. Um, so with my D8, uh, I think it is. Yeah, D8. I'm blocking on D6. Uh, and you're minus two because you're unarmoured. Uh, that's only if I hit you. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, sorry. I'm at minus one. I've got three. Yay! <laughs> Not number six. <laughs> A four! Uh, so that's level. Um... So yeah, nothing. <laughs> the mouse escapes it again. <laughs> I know. The thing is, if I hit you, he's got a double-handed club. So I will make shish kebab out of the mouse. But I just can't hit you for cheese, little twat. <sighs> right, you'll go. So, wizard. Yeah. He's going to cast bear's strength. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't cast the same spell on different characters, can you? What is it, like oh, a remaining no. play thing? Double check. Yeah. So, uh, the snake is going to cast bear strength on the Scotty dog. So, uh, shoot. Uh, anything with a one. Yeah. Anything with a one. A one. Because um, it goes off on a three. You okay. Plus two for standing still. Yep. Uh, you do get minus one if you've only got partial line of sight there. Can you see all of the base? I don't even know you possible too. You, you, uh, didn't take, uh, you didn't take your staff, did you? No. Okay, so that fails to go off. Uh, back over to me. Okay, so I'm going to try and hit the otter again with the cavalier here. See if the cavalier king child. Yes! Finally! Oh, no. <laughs> Ultimate blow. So, um, so. Oh, three. Okay, so it's 10. 17. Yep. 17 minus 3 is 14. 14. I, so I win the combat by 14. Yep. I'm plus two strong. Yep. So it takes me to 16. 16. So it's 16 damage. Any armour? <laughs> Any tough? <laughs> I've so, already taken the wound. Uh, dead. Yeah. <laughs> Out of action. Okay. Ow. <laughs> so it's 
on D8. Okay, so the Scotty Dog is uh, going to try and take uh, the Archer. Um, I'm on D6. Uh, a 1, not good. 7. So that's pretty good. So you win by 6. Yep. Uh, you are strong four. Strong four, so you win by ten. I am tar one, am I? Am I tough? Mm, don't think I am actually. Uh, no, so you win by ten. Uh, so I've already taken one wound, so I'm up to eleven. So it's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, uh, that is two wound increments. Who's got there? Three, four, five, six. Ooh. It doesn't matter because you can't kill me. Oh, I've, uh, got, I've got a crossbow left. <laughs> okay, fair. Oh, at least you shoot into that one twice and not <laughs> hit my own. <laughs> okay, so uh, my wizard is going to try and open the tomb. Yeah, so it was on a seven. It was presence, wasn't it? No, no, no. I'm just checking now. I'm feeling it was. Which is actually a good one for me if it is because... Uh, D10. That's an awareness roll. Oh, an awareness roll. Oh, that's crap. It's D6. Um, <laughs> so I need six. <laughs> uh, I've got enough four. So I'm on a five next time. Right. Um, your crossbow dog. Oh, uh, crossbow mouse. This one and that one. Oh, you've got two, two left. Um, oh, but I won't get the plus two. That's trying to Okay, so the mouse has moved with the crossbow, try and shoot uh, past his fellow dog into uh, combat. So uh, one to two hits the dog. Hits oh. the dog. Then <laughs> yeah, I'm shooting on a D6. Yep. Uh, you can got clear line of sight. Uh, yeah. So no no negatives. Two, two. Uh, against his uh, nimbleness. Nimbleness of the Scotty dog is a D6. Two. So it's a draw. No damage. A uh, strong two. Don't matter. Oh no, it's only fifteen. Yeah. Uh, right. So <laughs> it's that dog's go. Um. So I'm just going to try and hit you. Yep. Because why not? Um. D8 versus your D6. D6. Uh, I'm at minus two. And I get one. So right. nothing. Uh, then it'd be my mouse. Uh, oh yeah, punching the pug. Hopefully, mighty mouse over there. Uh, so you're at minus two because you're unarmed. I'm at minus one because uh, I've got a wound increment. Six. <sighs> a one. <laughs> right. So six. My. Uh, so it's thirteen. Yep. Minus two. That's eleven. Eleven. Um, I'm on zero. So it's 11 damage against the dog. Uh, 11 damage against the dog, who is um, tough one, so 10 damage. So I'll take 10, uh, which isn't enough to kill him. I don't think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> and that oh, ends. If only we had another turn. <laughs> yeah, that ends the round. So, uh, because uh, Sam's leader and his number two have been taken out of action, he automatically breaks or routes the table, and uh, that will end the scenario uh, with a, a route for the, uh, the rogues. Right, so there we have it. Um, a nice little adventure into yeah, yeah. Burrows and Badgers land again. Um, so, um, yeah, basically, I won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I had a had an ulterior motive to uh, try and uh, lure the wild cat in, uh, which was <laughs> my secret mission, which was to try and uh, get my war boss to effectively inflict damage on. Uh, Sam's war leader, and if I manage to take him out, I've got extra XP, uh, which actually is quite good because uh, by doing that, I actually advanced a level because uh, fundamentally, this skirmish game is also kind of RPG as well. Um, so I've now got uh, extra strong. Yeah, I've got yeah. An extra strong, so it takes me up to uh, with my sword, strong seven. <laughs> um, so yeah, overall. Um, Managed to capture uh, his number two, the female otter with the sling. That was giving my uh, cavalier some grief, but he managed to uh, end up swiping her legs away and dragging her off. 
Um, however, my warlord decided that uh, we were going to err on the side of caution and actually ransom her back. He just wanted to sell his. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. So uh, we managed to screw him over for 40, 40 pennies, which leaves my warband now sitting nicely with 100 pennies in the bank. Um, so I will spend some. I'll buy a, maybe a, um, I think there's a bulldog with heavy armour somewhere around. Yes. Yeah, so maybe he might uh, might turn up for like 60 pennies, 70 pennies <laughs> of change. Um, so yeah, basically um, I will be looking to add to my warband. Uh, I did suffer a little bit with uh, having uh, one less model. Um, mm. Yeah, obviously uh, uh, losing activations is not good. Uh, what happened to your lot? Obviously, other than uh, obviously running away and... To be, to be fair, no one's injured. They all went down the pub, didn't they? Yeah. Uh, yeah, between you gambling then and yeah. the... I earned some money then a fight broke out yeah and they all got out alright <laughs> yeah <laughs> so no lasting right. injuries at least because no. uh, even your wildcat failed his fortitude but managed to uh, yeah. dodge no serious injuries dodge um, recovery yeah so yeah basically yeah, no casual or no no serious injuries no um, sounds points. yeah did I would have more pennies but someone swindled me for 40 pennies so well, what can I say? <laughs> if you will go and uh, get your yeah, people captured. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the whole point of the game. It's all a part of the RPG. Um, so obviously, no doubt, at a later point down the line, Sam will remember the fact uh, when I actually lose someone and get captured by Sam later on. Yeah. Uh, no execute. doubt he will uh, <laughs> execute me. Um, yeah. But there we are. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed Burrows and Badgers. Uh, do stay uh, tuned for uh, more games in the, the new campaign that we're going to be running. Um, and obviously watch out for some new warbands as well. And uh, we'll hope to see you soon and stay tuned. See you in a bit.